American citizen can vote, then and get that vote counted, then that's how we build a stronger nation. That's how we build a future. And when I was a kid, I used to wonder how it was possible that the Roman Republic could just fall. The Roman Republic and the Roman Empire stood for hundreds of years, and yet it all came crashing down. My history teacher would say the barbarians invaded, but in truth, it collapsed from the inside out. Because when Caesar crossed the Rubicon, it was clear. The rule of law didn't matter anymore. What do you think about the net net taxpayers? You know those actually pay their fair share, or uh, people who serve or register in military or police, maybe veterans, or those who pass IQ and are in judgment standards, those who contribute, fight for, have the most say, fight for, and understand having the only, or at least the most say in things. Those, those should be the three demographics. IQ and judgment standards, military registration, or net taxpayers. People paying their fair share. It was the beginning of the end. Because the rule of law Majority matters. rule. The mission of Legal Eagle is to explain our laws, to explain how the system works when it works. It's not my place to tell you what policies are- The rule of law collapsed under majority rule. As a lawyer with an inside view to our judicial system, I think I have an insight into at least this aspect of our government. And over the last four years, one thing has become clear. President Trump doesn't care about the law. He's ignorant of the law and actively subverts the law. He uses the law for his own gain and he breaks the law when it stands in his way. I like feminism. If you care about the rule of law in America, you cannot in good conscience, vote for Donald Trump. Did you care about the Constitution? You can't vote for the left or CNN. It's not about liking or disliking the legislation that President Trump has signed. It's not about liking or disliking the way he has handled the COVID-19 epidemic, nor is it about liking or disliking the judges that he has appointed. This video is about the rule of law. It's about legal equity and like the riots. Equality, and it's about justice. And I guess when the Scientific American breaks with 175 years of tradition to endorse a presidential candidate, Right to defend yourself, like, uh, or defend your business. Again, the majority of voters want to destroy them. The majority of voters are the criminals. Yes, no one, including the lawyers, can stand idly by on the sideline. So for the first and hopefully only time, Legal Eagle endorses a presidential candidate. Legal Eagle endorses Joe Biden for president. He is the only candidate that has any hope of upholding the rule of law in this country. By dismantling the Constitution. And didn't he take President money from Donald Russia? He is a criminal. We know this to an almost certainty. There's so much evidence hiding in plain sight that it's actually sometimes hard to remember everything that he's done. So the evidence that Bill Cosby's accusers are liars. Let's at least try. Oh, he's Michael really Cohen, depressed. Trump is actually unindicted co-conspirator individual number one to the conspiracy Michael Cohen has already pleaded guilty to regarding the illegal hush money payments to porn stars. Michael Cohen, the president's former attorney, pleaded guilty to eight criminal charges. Five counts of tax evasion, one count of making false statements to a financial institution, one count of willfully causing an unlawful corporate contribution, and one count of making an excessive campaign contribution at the request of President Trump for the principal purpose what about Donald Trump's illegal money from Russia or Donald Trump's son? Or Don I'm not, I mean Joe Biden, I mean Joe Biden's son. See, they got me even confused to say Joe, Joe Biden's son. Or Hillary Clinton's even get taking foreign aid money. I know this is what aboutism, but the term what aboutism was made up by propagandists and hypocrites angry that they're getting caught out on their propaganda and, hi and hypocrisy. You mean? of influencing the election. Michael Cohen went to jail for those crimes and committed those crimes at the direction of the president. But now president- How can the mainstream media and press get to influence elections with bias and flat out disinformation? If anything, Facebook it took money out of politics by making it a free platform. 
It really is all about their own domination of thought, their monopoly on thought. Did not go to jail. He stayed in office. Because he didn't do anything illegal. He was guilty than the people that he directed. And after President Trump stayed in office, he tried to use $400 million in taxpayer funds allocated for the defense of Ukraine to fabricate dirt on his political opponent. Hey, you lied. He didn't fabricate. You didn't have them to fabricate, you asked them to find. They're totally different than find any dirt, existing dirt. Like uh, some of the dealings in debate. Effectively, the president tried to blackmail a strategic partner using taxpayer funds into soliciting a bribe for his own benefit. And hey, here's something about taxpayer funding. What about unions that are taxpayer funding appointing Democrats? Well, what college is that he's disproven economic theory, like in populations? That was disproven by, proven in a test. I think the video was called, I saw it is, Thanos was clearly evil, but he was also wrong. He mentioned the test between an economist and someone worried about population growth. And people against capitalism and also ethnic and gender studies be, that have also been disproven, telling everyone to blame everyone else. If a college is going to be taxpayer funded, shouldn't social studies that are inherently political be cut? Nothing to try and create exactly the kind of narrative that he was able to use in 2016. What kind of democracy is it? It was beautiful. When the tax and the government funds a certain party. The president then punished the whistleblowers who brought it to the public's attention. Apart from the illegality, this is the kind of. Punishing whistleblowers, that's what the left is doing all the time under censorship and people saying what they don't like and wrong think and wrong speech. Part of our democracy. This is about interfering with the voter's choice. This is about creating black propaganda for one's own benefit. And but the media does all the time. Funds the mighty forces of the United States for one's own personal benefit. And you might recall that the Watergate break-in occurred because President Nixon wanted an election advantage. Do not forget President Trump was impeached. And found it not guilty. Not but that doesn't mean that his actions were neither impeachable nor illegal. I mean, it means that certain political figures made a political decision to allow him to stay. And if our political leaders don't have... The Bill Cosby conviction was a legal, was a political decision. He ran, Michael Kevin Steele ran on getting Bill Cosby and even blocked witnesses. And the information, because it hurt the accused credibility. Uh, and that's what the left is doing. And uh, really bring this up. Oh, also, OJ also proved, proven innocent on trial, but that doesn't count. Uh, Donald Trump also found innocent on trial. That doesn't count. It's corruption. But when Bill Cosby gets clear, and you're playing psych corruption to get Bill Cosby, even the media press disinformation and how, why he was convicted. Oh, he's convicted. Get over it. He's accepted. Then because he controls thought and mainstream thought. This is becoming more like Stalin. The left to become even play with these riots in Antifa beating the shit out of people. There was an Omega rally interrupted by Antifa who beat the shit out of people. He had to be canceled out of force. What do you have to say about that? You can force an intimidation. Bones to do anything about it. And would rather we just forgot the whole affair. The left wants you to forget to things. Remember. And we've been lucky that much. Why do we hear? Why do we hear so much over incel violence and Elliot Rogers, but not so much on women unable to get attention in Nassim Asimi? I forgot her name. Did I just say you're the YouTube shooter, the woman who shot up YouTube? In fact, over half the mass the mass shooters are actually women. Since illegality has been boneheaded and incompetent, but we might not be so lucky next time. And that's how we bungled our way into the Ur scandal of the Trump administration when the president started to politicize the entire enforcement wing of the executive branch, when the president fired the director of the FBI, specifically because he was investigating the president's ties to Russia. Then the president told the Russians in a secret over I faced great pressure because of Russia. That's taken off. And then the president admitted to the entire thing to Lester Holt on national television. When I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump. Because it's baseless, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy, angry, sore loser rant. And then, as we know from the Mueller report, there was an entire scheme to cover all of this up. 
The Mueller report is practically a flashing red siren that says that the president and it was his proven. engaged in an obstruction of...